This girl named Monique, she is a girl who is still in high school class. Currently, she lives alone. Her father was jailed for robbery and her mother had died, so she was placed in foster parents' home by social services. But one day, she was forcibly kicked out by her foster mother because she was accused of sleeping with her foster father named Hassan. Because of that, she was looked for by another foster mother, namely a Spanish woman named Lucila. The next day, she was awakened by Lucila because she had to go to school immediately. Arriving at school, she immediately went to the wrestling extracurricular to meet her childhood friend named Omari. She told him that she was kicked out of her house again. At that time, she asked Omari to persuade her foster mother to open the door so Monique could retrieve her father's notebook which was still left in the room. After she succeeded, they decided to go home. While on her way home, she accidentally met her father named Daryl who was working on cleaning the place. Monique did not expect that her father was out of prison, however, did not give news to her. Monique asks Daryl to move in with her, despite trying to convince, but the request was still rejected. He even asked Monique not to look for him anymore and to take care of their own lives. At home, Monique felt sad, because she felt she had the only family. However, her father did not care about it, the togetherness she dreamed of she could not get. At that time, Monique could only open her father's diary which contained photos of her family when she was young and a photo of her own father. As it turns out, Daryl was a former professional wrestler during his time. The next day, Monique decided to go to social services. She informed the officer if her father had been released from prison and was working somewhere. She asked for information on her father's home address because she really wanted to live with Daryl, but that can't be done, considering that her father is not Monique's legal guardian. The officer asked Monique to stay with Lucila only. Monique who was annoyed, chose to leave the place. She decided to find out for herself where her father lived. After searching everywhere, she finally found the fact that her father was actually homeless. Daryl can be seen waiting in line at the shelter to get a place to spend the night. No wonder Daryl refused when Monique asked him to move in with her yesterday. Because Monique and Lucila's relationship was not good, that night Monique chose to stay at Omari's house. The next day, when she wanted to go to school, she accidentally passed the road near where her father worked. When she met Daryl, Monique told her that she would join the men's wrestling team. Even though Daryl knows there is no women's wrestling team, Monique wants to prove that she can surpass Daryl's wrestling ability. Listening to this, Daryl also gave advice to change her appearance if she wanted to take part in wrestling. Arriving at school, Monique went straight to her school's wrestling practice. There, she told a coach named Castile to let her join the team. One of the athletes named Malik disagreed because Monique is a woman. However, the Castile coach knew that Monique was a girl who likes to cause trouble and had to put her anger in a positive place. Castile finally accepted and immediately included Monique in the training session at that time. Adapting to a new environment made it difficult for Monique. However, she still wants to practice because she wants to prove herself to her father. Monique's presence was certainly not liked by one of the team members named Malik. Because one day, at school, Monique had a fight with his girlfriend named Natalie, so she made a scene in the school. Because she had taken part in extracurricular wrestling, Monique decided to change her appearance and train harder than her other friends. Monique started doing serious movements and diligently ran in the morning. Malik, who initially doesn't like Monique's presence, becomes impressed with her enthusiasm, to the point that on one occasion, Malik secretly gives her training shoes without Monique's knowing. Exercise by exercise Monique do. Finally the selection for the championship match come which would be held in two weeks. Thanks to her hard training, she managed to beat Omari and get her selected for the first team and that made she's happy. Long story short, she came home right away and Monique wanted to tell Daryl to come to her first match. But when she wanted to approach her father, she saw her father was with his old friend named Juan. Juan is a man who is her father's partner during the robbery for which her father was imprisoned. This made Monique feel disappointed, because her father was still friends with Juan. When she got home, she was immediately greeted by Lucila and social service officers. They accused Monique of stealing Lucila's jewelry. However, Monique was good at evading the charge and Monique was saved because she showed them the form of the wrestling match she was about to take part in. The day of the first match came. When the rest of the team is playing, Monique is worried about her father who hasn't arrived yet. Because indeed Monique did this in order to get the attention of her father, namely the former professional wrestler. Before Monique's turn to compete, she did a warm-up first. At the same time, she is approached by Malik. Monique did not think that Malik had given her the shoes she was wearing. Malik tries to provide motivation so that Monique is not nervous. Malik is sure that Monique can beat their opponents. When Monique was just about to start her match, at that time her father came to make Monique even more confident to prove herself. Monique wants to win that match for her father. Finally, with some advice from Daryl, Monique was able to chase numbers and win the match. To celebrate the victory earlier, 
Daryl treated Monique to dinner and took Monique to his new residence, which was a gift from Juan. Monique suspects that Daryl will work with Juan again, but Daryl said, Juan gave him the place to live because Juan to returning the favor. There, Daryl told Monique that he was going to open a car wash business with another friend, plan for a better life, so that Daryl doesn't have to work for anyone, including Juan. Long story short, match by match Monique did and shot. Monique has become a mainstay for shooting nowadays. This could not be separated from the additional training she did with Daryl, which made Monique's abilities even more so than her friends on the team. Moreover, because Monique too, her school's wrestling team can advance to the next round. Time by time passed. Even though they couldn't live together, Monique and Daryl's relationship became as close as she expected. Even though she is an adult, Monique still wants to get affection from her father. Monique is also getting closer to the members who previously did not accept her. One day, Monique tries to find her father at Daryl's usual place of work. However, Monique did not find her father there. And unexpectedly, it turns out that Daryl has changed jobs as a night watchman without telling Monique. At first, Monique was disappointed. But because Daryl gave her a surprise in the form of wrestling shoes, Monique was finally happy, because it was the first gift from her father after a long separation, the gift that Daryl gave to Monique, for always winning every match. The next day, the next match begins. But at that time Monique was not even focused on the match, because she saw that her father was not watching her fight and instead was busy talking to Juan. When the match was over, Coach Castile approached Daryl to compliment Monique, because she was the best athlete the team currently has. Coach Castile invites Daryl to have dinner together, but Daryl refuses because he reasoned that he had worked with his co-workers and cancelled his plans with Monique. Daryl lets Monique go with the team. One night, Monique was invited by Daryl to a free fight arena with the intention of introducing Monique to real fighting, namely street fighting without rules and without protective gear. There, Monique saw female fighters fighting in the ring. After returning from there, Daryl offered Monique to join the fight because Daryl saw Monique's achievements and abilities had increased. The reason is so that Monique can help him earn a lot of money in a short time, so that Daryl can start his car wash business immediately. Hearing this, Monique was confused about what to answer, because she was still thinking about a wrestling match and that made Daryl upset. He said that Monique could compete with male wrestlers, because of the training he was given now. Daryl asked Monique to help him, but Monique still didn't give any decision. Annoyed, Daryl leaves Monique. In the next match, Monique became unfocused, knowing that Daryl was not present at the match. Monique must have assumed that Daryl must be upset, because of last night's conversation. Finally Monique also lost the match, and because of her poor performance, Castile's coach became angry with her. After returning from the match, Monique immediately approached Daryl in the arena. Monique tells Daryl that she will join the fight, but with one condition, when the money is collected, she asks Daryl to immediately stop working with Juan and open his car wash business. The next day, Daryl starts coaching Monique, but not the wrestling moves, but rather a movement for a free fight. Because of that, Monique got messed up in her wrestling match and almost hit her opponent, where it is certainly prohibited in wrestling matches. Even so, she actually managed to win the match and lead her team into the semifinals. When she came home from the match, it turned out that Daryl had been waiting for Monique and reminded her that she had a fight that night. At the same time, Omari noticed something strange about the two of them. Omari decides to follow them. Of course, Omari did not expect that Monique would take part in the free fight, which she knew, if Coach Castile found out, Monique would definitely be kicked out of the team. The first fight begins. The fight was a low-class fight. Monique's first opponent at that time was her cousin Juan. Daryl convinced her not to panic and could win the match, because her opponent was no match for Monique, but Monique still had a hard time, because this fight was the first time she had participated. Of course, Monique was hit several times which bruised her face. However, it didn't take long, the fight was won by Monique with a single punch. After the match, Omari reminds Monique of the stupid thing she has done. However, the debate stopped when Daryl came. The next day, Lucila, who saw the bruises on Monique's face, panicked. Lucila begs Castile to take her out of the wrestling match. Of course Coach Castile was confused. Where did Monique get the bruises on her face? Because hitting is strictly prohibited in wrestling matches. However, Monique managed to give the right reasons so that the coach believed and Monique was not kicked out of the team. One day, the semi-final match arrived. All team members and coaches are excited to win the game that day because if they win, they will advance to the final round. Daryl came to the match. However, his arrival was not to support Monique for an important match, but to ask her to go to a free fight that was held at the same time that day. This made she's confused between having to continue wrestling matches or following her father. Unexpectedly, at that time Lucila also came to watch her team play for the first time. However, Monique decides to follow her father and leaves the semi-final match. Omari tries to stop Monique. But without a sense of responsibility Monique still leaves the team. 
Prior to the arena, Monique went to Lucila's house to pick up her things and planned not to return to the house because she believed that after this she would be able to live with Daryl. When she got there, Monique was immediately ordered to get into the ring to fight. But this time, her opponent was not an easy opponent for a beginner like herself. Because her opponent was experienced and was a fighter who often won. If Monique wins this match, then Daryl will get $5,000. Still wearing her wrestling uniform, Monique was fighting. It was easy for her opponent to corner Monique. Even though she gave a few punches, it didn't affect her opponent to finish her down and almost made Monique faint. Seeing that Monique was no match for the female fighter, Daryl asked Monique to give up. However, Monique, who was already battered, chose not to give up. Until finally she managed to get up and finish off her opponent until KO by combining street fighting techniques and wrestling techniques. The match is over. However, the police raided the place and everyone dispersed. Panicked Daryl told Monique to return to Lucila's house. And bravely Daryl runs away alone and ignores his daughter. Daryl is afraid of being caught by the police again because of his recidivist status. Since Monique's belongings were still inside, she was forced to return to the arena to retrieve her belongings and hide under the ring because there was nowhere to return. Monique finally goes to Omari's house who always opens the door for her. Of course, Monique regretted her foolish decision to leave the wrestling team to compete without her. While taking a break, in the middle of her consciousness, Malik informs her that Omari won the match that time and made her team into the final round. The next day, Monique was also visited by the Castile coach because he knew about Daryl's actions. Coach Castile threatens that he can report Daryl to the police because Daryl's actions are against the law which endanger the condition of his daughter. However, Monique did not agree. She begs Coach Castile and promises to do better after this incident as long as she doesn't report Daryl back to the police. That day, Coach Castile asked Monique to fix things. They came to Lucila's workplace. There, she showed her promise to the coach. She thanked Lucila because Lucila was the only foster mother who never kicked her out. Monique also admits that she stole Lucila's earrings. She really regretted what she had done and Lucila only had one request. She wanted Monique to be a good girl from now. After the family matters were settled, the coach gathered all the team members to make a decision together whether Monique could take part in the final match or not. Because in the semifinals, Monique made a fatal mistake by leaving the match. Luckily, Omari was able to win the match for Monique even though he had never won a match before. But he wanted to go down to compete because their team lacked people and Monique was one of the mainstay players. They agreed to take Monique back to face the final match. Long story short, the day to compete had arrived. When she was getting ready to get on the bus, Daryl suddenly came to see her at the same time. Initially, Daryl apologized for leaving Monique that night, but there, Daryl asked Monique to double their income. Hearing this, Monique decided to leave her father. Monique is done with Daryl's bullshit. However, before the bus left, Monique thought that she couldn't just leave her father. So, she went back outside to catch up with her father, hugging and giving her father's long-kept diary. It was the book that made Monique know who her father was in the past and it was the book that made her decide to take up wrestling. Monique seemed to remind Daryl that even as a father, Daryl didn't take care of Monique's life. However, Daryl lives inside Monique through wrestling. Love and affection are necessities, not material possessions and luxuries. Without it, no family can survive. And the movie ends.